Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you BIOS version 1.00. Now essentially, uh, what this is, is this is the first version of um, Phoenix BIOS. And as we all know, the built-in operating system uh, is in basically every computer from MS-DOS, or any version of DOS, up to the most modern computers there are. But that's had like many upgrades over time and there's been many different um, like <laughs> versions of BIOS from different companies. But this one was essentially the foundation for all of them. And um, it's very basic as you can see. Uh, you, we've got basic time and date settings. Um, we've got basic like floppy disket um, set, what, settings. Um, it shows you that the hard drives, whether they're installed or not, which on this particular machine they aren't. And it shows you the base memory, the extended memory, uh, the video cards, the keyboards, whether like, they're installed or not, and the CPU. Um, so obviously it's all pretty good um, and there isn't much uh, to this as you can see it just like tells you basic information about the monitor, um, the cache um, and uh, obviously the system date and the um, system time as you can see at the top there as I've already mentioned. Uh, yeah, but I mean it's pretty good. I don't really think it gives you a boot order in this. Um, it's just, it's, yeah, so it looks pretty blurry on the camera, but you can just see like the processor type um, and all the basic motherboard information. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's all pretty cool, and we can see that in the most modern versions. So it doesn't look like this, obviously, but uh, we can see that in the most modern versions of built-in operating system, uh, whatever version you have, um, depending on the computer you have. So yeah, I mean it's pretty cool, um, and obviously this was designed for DOS. Uh, oh, gosh, that's funny. Look, help. <laughs> Why would you need help? Gosh. Um, yeah, but as you can see, um, it's a very simple interface. Uh, it you like don't have any mouse controls like you do in some versions of BIOS, like the really modern versions of BIOS. Um, but yeah, I mean it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like I say, it hasn't got much to it, um, but it's still pretty awesome. Um, the machine I'm like using this on is a Packard Bell Legends 900 Elite, which is uh, something from the I think it's the late 80s, early 90s, and uh, it's a DOS machine, obviously, uh, but it can do Windows 3.1, I believe, which will be fun. I might do some. Well, I'm going to do a Windows 3.1 tour. Not necessarily on this machine, obviously that's going to be all in a virtual machine because I can record the screen better. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, should be pretty fun really. I think there's something wrong with the power supply because it keeps derping out, like, um, it just sometimes does not start. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, and this CRT is really glaring on the camera. I've really got to upgrade it. Um, yeah. That's about it, but uh, yeah, I mean it's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, uh, the monitor looks okay, and there's some like minor issues with it. But mainly, the actual BIOS itself in this is, as you can see, the first ever version. It identifies itself as both like 1.00 and 1.01. Probably why it identifies itself as 1.01 is because um, just after they released like the first ever version, it might have been quite buggy or whatever, so they released a second um, unbugged version, so to speak. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just fascinating to look at this sort of thing, really, because obviously uh, there are some more modern versions of BIOS uh, which are much more advanced. Yeah, anyway, if you like this sort of thing, uh, be sure to subscribe for more, and, uh, yeah, 
I see you, I'll see you in another video then.